Philippians chapter 3 from verse 12, 13, 14. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that of for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Everybody say, I have not attained. Say it. I am not already perfect. Not already perfect. You agree with me? After one month, when you go home, your temptation will come. What you studied, nobody studied. What you know, nobody knows. I tell you before God, after 50 plus years of Bible study, my one of my biggest pain is why I didn't study Bible enough. Even now. That attitude will push you higher, higher, higher. Never think you know something now. I'm not saying for a false humility. And now it's so humble. No, it's truth. If God gives me another life, if I am 12 years old, and He gives me a new life, and He says, Ezekiel, what do you want to do in this life? I give you from 12 now, you start. You know what I would say? Lord, let me read Bible. Thousand times more than I lived right before. I am so convinced. B I B L E. And that's the book for me. So you have a long way to go. Did you understand that? Christian life is like a ocean, beloved. Never, everybody say never, never, ever, ever think, think you are tamed. You are tamed. Are you made perfect? Are you made perfect? Only this attitude makes women to always advise the husbands. My husband must pray more. My husband must read the Bible more. My husband must preach like Alexander. My husband must be holy more. <laughs> God didn't give you your husband. My husband must be healthy more. That's our Lord. <laughs> Listen. I have never seen in my life one husband changed by the preaching of your wife. You want to try again? <laughs> the husband needs honor from wife. You will say, no, no, no. All are honoring him. All may honor, but only when your wife honors, the husband feels something important. When you give that, your husband behavior will change. You will say, Anna, if he behaves honorably, I will honor him. <laughs> Come. At least when you married him, when he was proposed, you liked him, you know, that memory bring it to your mind. At least remember the first 10 days how he treated you. Ladies, never come into this mode of I attain. Never come into that. Not that I have already attained. Not that I am already perfect. But I press on. 
can i tell you from today you are only ministry you learnt what is the secret you don't know the you know the power of praying in tongues you know how to shut the door for the devil you know how to be a godly wife you know how to walk from inside out not from outside in you understand christian life is not walking from outside walking from ins you don't live by outside pressure there is a pressure inside stronger than the outside pressure i tell you if ezekiah now has allowed the outside pressure now ezekiah is not here outside pressure will come but you are inner force in a man god in you is mighty amen so you all studied it now the one month you studied spiritual life you studied who is a prophet you studied the spirit of your prophet you studied you don't need to get it you got it now the only thing i wanted to know everybody say press on press on please understand beloved christian life is not far passive slow movement soft people if god blesses me okay if god uses me prophet yeah if god doesn't use me it's okay <laughs> if god uses me in the healing ministry wow parmeshwar ki ichcha no healing it's my okay be happy satisfied such people never bless anybody aggressive people violent people decided people elisha elisha he goes from kilkar bethel jordan kilkar huh? violent elisha elijah say hey don't come the boss says he said no boss in your name in god's name i will not give up Uh, you are as powerful now as you are aggressive look warm very hot i don't like anna too much prayer i don't like anna when you go closer to god eh, vomit when vomit will come god says i will vomit you please i beg all of you now is your time to increase your pressing on aggressive how you were aggressively running for sin how you aggressively fought your fleshly battles how you aggressively ran for crazy love turn how you were in love crazy law your parents said your friends said everybody said you didn't listen now is your time you became aggressive crazy lover of jesus god is my witness even now i am pressing on even now till i die i will press on Push. in my teenage teenage generally boys will be with their sister or transistor in those days i could have fallen in my love i tell you that teenage is the most precious time if i had love finished 
I am not tempted. I was tempted. One time? No, hundred times. Only hundred? No, thousand times. Did you fall? If I fall, how can I sit here? One thing always kept me all my life is not that God will punish me. I always thought I have a calling. Before I was formed in my mother's womb, God said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you, I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. That fear, even now I have. Even now I have. So I had my ex-leader. I was in an organization. My leader uh, loved me so much. So <clears throat> I was very faithful to him. I was a student at that time. I'm doing my BCom first year. So he used, we used to have annual meeting in Tanjo in Tamil Nadu, a small boy I was. The session, you know, three days, powerful seminar. I would listen to all the messages, dancing, anointing, everything. I would wait when the class session will be over. Three days, four days. I would run. Somewhere under the tree, crying, crying, crying. I don't understand, teenager, why I cried. I don't understand. 100% not love failure. <laughs> not love success also. I was so hungry for God. India, I used to cry. Why I cried for India? I only saw India in a map. I want you to know it's not Isaac and our superman. No. This is natural response of a spirit. Why and now we don't have it? The spirit in you is suppressed by sorrow, worries, anger, bitterness, lust, worldliness. Once when all these things leave you, you will be like a small baby pressing on. You will be crazy lover like Benita Anni or Sudhaka. She is a crazy lover. Sudhaka is a crazy lover. You don't know how many hours they pray. You don't know how many Alex, Anna, how he walks with God. You don't know. In Baraka to stand here, it's not just they know some extra Bible. No way. So my leader, suddenly he will expect me to sing a song. In the altar call time, he would need me to sing a song. Because when I sang song, I don't know, one song, the whole crowd will cry. Because it comes from a broken heart. When you cry and sing, people cry. <clears throat> so, the leader will say, bring Ezekiah. Somewhere Ezekiah will be there. And you know what he will say? He will call five, six, ten people. He will say, hello, go and find all the trees. This boy Ezekiah will be praying and crying anywhere under a tree. This is called pressing, pressing. Oh. And now I'm a, I am a housewife. You are not a housewife. Housewife is just for 10 more years, 20 more years calling. You have eternal calling. Don't allow that calling to push you back. You press it. I am a prophetess. God will hear, I will speak God's word to the millions. I am an evangelist. Yes, I am your wife for some, some time. I am a mother. Yes, I have to do it. But this will, I will not allow this to 
push me back. This one word prasan will make you a Catherine Kullman tomorrow. This one word prasan will make you a healing minister tomorrow. Prasan will make you another Benita Francis tomorrow. Another Sudaka tomorrow. You will run schools of the Holy Spirit. One word I said, Prasa. So the people will run everywhere, exactly as my leader said, I will be crying. They will come, ah, Ezekiah, get up, get up, Anna is calling you. They will pull me. Like that, one time I sang a song, I spoiled the whole meeting. Next main preacher was to preach. I was a small boy. I was not allowed to preach, to sing a song. I went and sang a song. First stanza, I cried. People cried. People from all over India are there. Crying suddenly like a funeral house. So the leader doesn't know what to do. Preacher is ready. Suddenly, I, I am crying, singing and crying and singing and it took one and a half hours. The leader didn't stop me. He knew the spirit is moving. The people cried so much. In the ground hundreds of workers are working. They thought somebody died in the auditorium. So they all ran, come. <laughs> then the next preacher comes, lights off. It is like Holy Spirit plucked the meeting and gave it to me. That only introduced me to whole Tamil Nadu. It is the anointing. You don't need anybody to push you. When you are press on, your calling will introduce you to the whole world. You wasted your time, wasted in fighting, wasted in accusation, wasted in fault finding, wasted in sorrow, wasted in unworthy feeling, Unworthy feeling also, ego. I am not worthy. <laughs> Who is worthy? <laughs> he is my worthiness. Not that I have already attained, I am perfected, but I press on. Everybody say, I, I press on. That I may lay hold of that. For which Christ Jesus also laid hold of me. Listen, I laid hold of my wife. How many years ago? Fifteen years. We are the youngest couple here. Pow, old couple here. <laughs> Listen, see, I laid hold of her for a cause. That's my calling. She laid hold of me for a cause. That's a calling. Can I tell you, one day God put his hand and took hold of you for your goal. Now, you are holding that prasad. To fulfill your calling, you need a husband. God will give you a husband. If you already have your husband, great. To fulfill your calling, your children. They all will be one day so good. To fulfill your calling, you need a job. That job he gives you. Hey, say with me, every blessing. Every blessing. I have in this world. I have in this world. Is for only one purpose. It's for only one purpose. That I may lay hold of. That I may lay hold of. For which he hold on me. For which he laid hold on me. Son-in-law, daughter-in-law, no. Brother-in-law, no. 
all for the calling. When you do that, God takes care of every your small, small problem. Next word. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. I have not laid hold of it. Not at it. Uh. Uh, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Next word. I press toward the goal for the praise of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Again, 13. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Everybody say it. Forgetting. Forgetting. Those things. Forgetting. 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 Again. Forgetting. Forgetting. Those can, things. I, can, can I tell you what is my prophecy? Number one, press. Number two, forget. Ladies, you are Miss World to remember the past all the time. As long as you allow that past memory, past hurts, past relationships, even past failures, even past sin where you already fell. Unless you forget, God's hands are tied. He cannot do new thing in your life. Will you forget? If God says forget, that means you have enough power to forget. Illa, no, I cannot forget Anna. You are a liar. Our God is a liar. Who is a liar? You can. Memory will come. Pain will not be there. God's voice is this. God says, forget the past. Why are now? Why are now? I fell down and now forget. The past sin, don't forget. Forget. Then why it happened and now? For only one, I can tell you, ma. The past can teach you a lesson. That's all. That's all. Nothing more. Everybody say. Everything that happened in my life. Everything that happened in my life. All my past. All my past. All my inner hurts. All my inner hurts. Disappointment. Disappointment. Even my own failure. Even my own failure. My own rebellion. My own rebellion. All. 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 Has. Has. No power. No power. To affect my future. To affect my future. How many of you believe? How many of you believe Ezekiel now is your prophet? Yes. Can I prophesy? Yes. You are past. Yes. You are past. Yes. As zero power. Yes. Over your future. <laughs> Prophecy. You are past. Even your failure cannot. Block your future success. Take it as your prophecy. Anna prophesied my past, my past has zero power has over me. Zero power over me. Over my future. Over my future. I tell you for this one word, I came here now. Devil keeps telling you, God cannot use you because you failed. God cannot use you, all this nonsense. Past 
why god allowed or not to teach you a lesson ma and you learned a lesson finished finished it will keep you from future you will help many gullible innocent ladies with your experience you can warn others you know what is love now now you have found the truest lover all the other love when you are beautiful the love will be there but he is a only one lover doesn't look outside he look at the inside and he says you are fairer you are fuck you are past he doesn't want to remember why you remember don't even remind him father you know i fell you know god will say hey chi i don't want to hear that past is past ma but if you don't learn a lesson there is a danger after knowing this man you tried another man again you try another man uh, and now all are different this man is different you are a mental patient who is that <laughs> at least one person clap your hands for me. all men are same ma only where christ rules that's a different story forgetting those things which are behind reaching forward forward to those things which are ahead is it in isaiah 4318 this is a promise i want to give you yeah do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth promise for you amen promise for you everybody say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus padanite before i i do not do not will not remember remember my former things the former things all my past relationship all my past relationships that pulled me out of my calling that pulled me out of my calling no more remember no more out, remember out, out 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 of my life out of my life i will not consider the things of all things of all that's your job will you do that yes. when you do that god say okay now i will tell you what is my job yes. you do your job i will do my job remember not the past do not remember former things the old fighting what your husband when you were pregnant woman your husband didn't take care for you nonsense forget it he never talks to me or no always in the phone hallelujah let him speak more you can read bible life is not all the time has been has been has been has been see i love my wife my wife loves me but for both of us jesus is jesus calling is call all the lovers they cannot love you all the time he is the only one 100% loyal 
हंड्रेड पर्सेंट फाइट फॉर हंड्रेड पर्सेंट हू नोस यू हंड्रेड पर्सेंट हू कैर्स फॉर यू हंड्रेड पर्सेंट हू विल एंजॉय यू टिल यू डाय You all lose your tooth like Mahatma Gandhi. The only person Jesus will say, "Wow, you are fair, my love." That's the only love. Say it. I do not remember the former things. The former things. Not not consider the things of world. Things of world. Things of world mean. even before you came what happened don't remember that may the lord help you to see your husband through god's eyes your family through god's eye ladies never fall into the so called love you are crazy for love but i want to introduce you one lover He is the number one craziest lover. When you love him with all your heart, he br- he will bring the right person at the right time. You don't need to try. You don't need to try. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of the world. Next word. Behold, I will do a new thing. What you will do? What you will do? What you will do? Will you promise me? Promise me? You will not remind your husband what happened. What happened? What happened? Will you forget those hurts? Hurts, yes. betrayal, yes. loyal, disloyal, yes. all the drogam, yes. everything they did against you. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Promise me. Yes. Like that. <laughs> Now, as a man of God, prophet of God, my God will do a new thing. Amen. New thing. New thing. It will spring forth now. He says, "I will make a road in the wilderness. In the wilderness, till you came here, you have no direction. From now, God will show you the direction." rivers in the desert you have a desert life dry life will become river and and hundreds thousands will run to find the living water from your life bless you bless you bless you. 